How would you like to eat all you want and lose weight? How is that possible? Take a look at this pizza. How would you like to eat that and not worry about gaining weight? You know, a lot of people don't realize that the food they eat is chemistry. When you mix your foods a certain way, they get bottled up in your system, and it takes sometimes 8 to 14 hours. Some people go to the bathroom every 2 or 3 days. I want to teach you how to digest your food in 3 hours and lose weight. And if there's any pesticides or chemicals in the food, which there is today, it's going through so fast that it doesn't have a chance to seep in the sidewalls of your intestines. Your digestive tract intestines are 25 to 30 feet long. When you chew your food, it has to be squeezed and pressed and dispersed, and it goes through the system so slow that people end up with acid reflux. They end up with diabetes, sickness. You have a brand new car. You put some dirty gas in it. You put a little sand in your oil and that brand new car that had good genes will fall apart on you. Well, what do you think this is? It's like an automobile. It walks, it talks, it moves, it takes you where you want to go. What are you putting in here? A lot of people don't realize, like the Italians, which I am, these Hispanic people, uh, African Americans, um, American Indians, uh, they love to eat and they mix all of the food together and it's beautiful food, it's good food, it's family traditions and it's going through so slow it's causing all this sickness in their bodies. You know a lot of people say I'm like my mother, I'll have diabetes, I'm like my father, I'll have a heart attack, it runs in the family. You know what runs in the family? What they're putting in their mouth that's causing the sickness. Now that's my belief. Hey, for a guy 83 years old, I can still ride horses, motorcycles, do things. I'm not bragging, I'm trying to tell people, I'm your guinea pig. Dr. Oz is your guinea pig. He eats a lot of different samples, all kinds of foods. He's in his 50s. I like to see him if he makes my age. You can't mix all that stuff together and have an abundance of health. Now, our grandmothers and mothers and fathers have taught us a big breakfast in the morning. You know, kids especially are not even hungry in the morning. The parents say, you better eat, you need a big breakfast. And if the kids don't eat breakfast at home, the schools are going to feed them breakfast now. And they got the highest rate of diabetes in the world now, young children. People should eat when they're hungry. It's 12 o'clock, you better eat. Get your lunch with you. Five o'clock, there's the whistle, sit down and eat. You're not even hungry. They're going to eat because Pablo's dogs. Remember the dogs? He rung a bell, fed the dogs. Right after he fed them, he rung the bell again. They came and ate again. Rung the bell again. They came and ate again. As soon as they heard the whistle, as soon as it's 12 o'clock, breakfast, whatever, folks, I eat when I'm hungry. I still lift barbells three days a week. I got a gym in my house. You got to exercise. You got to exercise your brain. You got to exercise your body. You got to eat right. And I'm telling you right now, a lot of people are told, and when I tell you this, you're going to say, oh, I don't want to listen to that guy. Breakfast is the worst meal you can have. Okay? And a lot of people just got shut off on me right there. Let me tell you why it's the worst breakfast. Although our mothers and grandmothers and the school nurse and everybody will tell you you need a big breakfast. When you get up in the morning, you want to go to the bathroom. It's like taking your car, pouring oil in the top, and emptying out the bottom at the same time. Cleanse the system. If you're going to have something, have some fruit. Have your coffee, have your juice. Wash out the debris. Clean out the system. Pancakes and bacon and all this crap and chorizo and all this food mixed together, folks. It's bottling up the system while you're emptying out the bottom. It's hard to make changes. I make these sessions that help you make the change. You put these sessions by your bed, 
you fall asleep, and I work on your computer. Folks, if you want abundance of health, I know you can go to a lot of people that teach you about health. They're in their 30s and 40s. They're telling you what to eat and what to do, and this is good and that's bad, and take this and take that. They're not in their 80s, folks. I'm your guinea pig. I prove that it works, and I want it to work for you. God bless you all. Hope you enjoyed this video.